I think about the day we met. I suppose you would have arrived par avion. Maybe you were the first to get to security. You didn't intend to stay. You only had 24 hour cover, so luggage a mano. And they probably had a driver waiting, so you didn't need to find in coche. You'd never been to Shanghai before. It was all new to you. You arrived in the morning, so the streets were deserted. Did you call anyone? Did you have a cerveza? Sometimes I imagine you watching the news, sometimes playing a game, sometimes sleeping, preparing yourself for the night ahead. The thing I can't imagine is that we hadn't met, hadn't even heard of each other, that you thought it was going to be just another night. It was my birthday, which I hate. Every year on my birthday, I have a dream. Always the same dream. I go down into the subway. I wait for the train. I'm worried I'm going to be late. The train leaves the station. I feel like going to sleep, but there's someone I have to find. And I have to find him before the train stops. The train goes through one station. There are 19 more to go. I have to find him. And then I wake up. The next year I had exactly the same dream. Only this time I went past two stations. Don't ask me how I knew. I just knew that there were 18 stations to go. Next year, 17. Next year, 16. Every birthday, one less. Today's my birthday. Today I'm down to the last one. If I fall asleep, I'll get to my destination. If I want to, I can discover my fate tonight. Oh. It's okay. So, what am I going to do? I'm going to stay awake all day. Who wants to discover their fate? Who wants to take a chance like that? Well, I've got left from my childhood. I keep my special memories here. Who are they? My father and mother, before we left Shanghai. These are people like Damien, when I give them the papels. Now you know all my secrets. I love to look at their faces. They're so beautiful. Look at their eyes. They have a look that the rest of us don't have. You look like them and Poco. enough information, you could predict the consequences of our actions. Would you want to know? 
If you kiss that girl, if you talk to that man, if you take that job or marry that woman or steal that papel, if we knew what would happen in the end, would we ever be able to take the first step to make the first move? Your wife, no. your special boy, oh. they'd want to know all your news all right. and would we'll be glad to have you home, safe and sound. Are you tired? Yeah. Did you think about me at all? Did you try to imagine what was happening to me? Does an empathy virus work long distance? was Al Fuera, 170k outside the city. I imagine you like a medieval knight on a quest. A quest for me. Can you miss someone you don't remember? Can one moment or experience ever disappear completely? Or does it always exist somewhere, waiting to be discovered? My father used to tell me stories as I fell asleep. Stories about Jebel Ali and the Arabian Sea. Stories of magic and adventure. He used to live there and believed that if we could return, everything would be all right. Everything would be like it used to be before we were exiled. And in my dreams, I was there. If we're frightened, we run. It's our instinct. Adrenaline pumps around the body. The muscles contract. Our heart beats faster. And we run. We run for our lives. We run for safety. For our home. Our families. Our loved ones. You went before a tribunal. They decided the empathy virus had affected your judgment, so they took away your memory of me, just like they had wiped my memory of you. I was exiled because I tried to cheat the Sphinx. They left me my memories. They don't care what you think if you're out fuera. Why bother? To them, it's as though we don't exist. I should 